What's going on guys? My name's Jack. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how you can actually create the cinematic look and the cinematic feel within Adobe Premiere Pro. And we're actually going to be taking a look at a hands-on um, kind of like a exercise here where basically we're going to be turning this clip on screen right now. Pretty boring, pretty flat. Overall, you know, it's kind of lacking and uh, overall we're gonna be turning it into this next clip that I'm actually gonna play Which is a massively exaggerated massively improved uh, much more cinematic sequence than that original clip and uh, I'll play it on screen right now Obviously that second version is a thousand times better and if you guys want to follow through literally hands-on 100% step-by-step with me that sequence right there without any of the cinematicness is available for download in the description and that's the same one I'm obviously going to be using for this example in this video so if you want you can download it down below and literally follow through step-by-step -step with me as we turn it into a far more cinematic sequence than kind of like the boring flat sequence that it currently is. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, what's going on guys? So this obviously on screen right now is our sequence. It is indeed our sequence that we're gonna be creating and it originated as a much, much less attractive, much more boring, much flatter sequence that definitely was way, way, way less professional and overall much more amateur, obviously, seeing as that's the opposite of professional. Um, <laughs> so without further ado, let's start actually improving this. Now, if you guys go to the description down below and you want to follow through, you can download this clip, which is literally just all of these little clips compiled into one sequence. So you see, it's kind of like the, the, the plain version of what we've actually just made much more cinematic right here. And that's actually what I'm going to be working through. But like I just said previously in the intro, if you want to actually work through step by step with me, download this down below. I'm sure that hands-on learning experience is definitely going to be good for a lot of people. But overall, go ahead and drag that down here to actually create a brand new sequence. And it's just going to create a sequence that is all of these clips compiled into one um, one clip. Obviously, that's not ideal for the color correction process, seeing as we want kind of different color corrections and slightly variation, uh, slight variations of different color grades as well for each clip. So, I just want you guys to drag the little the little thing across to actually cut up all these clips. So I'm just going to keep cutting them into individual clips very quickly. You see, I'm just getting close enough to to where that clip changes, and then just using my um, my keyboard right here down here just to go across individually to actually get the first frame of the next clip. But you see how quickly I just chopped those, uh, those guys up there. So now we actually have five individual clips all kind of chilling there. And now the next thing you guys want to actually go ahead and do is go ahead and make sure you're selecting your sequence right here and just go up to File, New, and then just go ahead and create a, uh, a, a adjustment layer. Actually, my bad, you need to be selecting your project over here. Go up to File, New, and then Adjustment Layer. Um, my bad, I, I was selecting down here, but that's just created another one. I created another one just now, just for example's sake, rather than dragging the same one that I used for uh, the example right here. But boom, go ahead and drag your, your adjustment layer to the video layer above all your clips so that you kind of have now an adjustment layer up there which we can do an overall color grade to which will of course affect all the clips below it okay so then to this adjustment layer right here what you want to do is just go ahead and click it and actually just go up to creative drop down the look menu and I just want you to put that first Fuji the Fuji Eterna 250D Fuji 3510 click that and it's gonna put that onto your image. Now that is a built-in look, okay? A built-in look, personally, that's one of my favorite built-in looks. And if we turn off the creative, you can see how much flatter that image is looking without this built-in look. We can even go to another clip and just go ahead and uh, and tap that back on. And, um, oh, my bad, and tap that back on. And instantly, just by putting a 100 intensity of the Fuji Eterna 250D, you're instantly getting a much more cinematic feel. And then what I want to do is go to this fade film and bump that up to 20. Okay, so we've got fade to film bumped up a little bit and we have that creative look, which is instantly starting to make this look a little bit more cinematic. And then it is literally just going into uh, the individual clips now. So now that we've added that kind of base uh, color grade over the top of all these clips that ties them all kind of nicely together, we now want to go into the individual clips themselves by clicking on the individual clips, changing it to the basic correction, 
and just start tweaking all the little different aspects of these individual clips. For example, the highlights here. I wanna bring these highlights down so we're creating a more neutral image. So I could bring that down to about minus 50. And then I could actually bring the contrast up a little bit and I could maybe even bring the shadows up a little bit, um, maybe to about, to about there or so. Then I could go to the next clip right now and see what kind of needs toning down here. So my face looks pretty highlighted right there. We could actually start again with the highlights, just start bringing that down a little bit, maybe to about minus 50, just to kind of neutralize that a little bit more. See what I'm looking over there. We could definitely improve some of the contrast a little bit, maybe bring those highlights up a little bit, improve the whites maybe a little bit, and maybe turn down the blacks a little bit. Ooh, that's, that's definitely too much, but we'll bring it down a little bit. And you just wanna keep tweaking these individuals right here to actually bring them out to be more, um, to be overall just more color corrected and overall just have a nicer, uh, more neutral color scheme. You see how this, there's too much uh, highlight coming from the sky right there. So I wanna bring that right down and probably balance that by putting some contrast on there. Maybe turn the whites up a little bit and bring the blacks down. Uh, down a little bit there as well. Uh, I just choked on some spit. I'm gonna take a little sip of water real quick. Mm. And overall, we're starting to get the basic color correction down now. So this is again, it's pretty crazy on my face right there when I turn. You see what I mean? So we could actually bring the highlights down, probably about 45 on that one. Bring the the contrast up a little bit there and um, maybe the whites up a little bit. And you just wanna keep on going through to these individual clips and just tweak them to bring them individually closer to that cinematic look. And right here, we could bring that contrast up a lot there, turn those highlights down a lot right there, maybe turn the shadows up a tiny bit, whites down a bit. And actually, I might even come up to my adjustment layer up here at the top, go back to my creative and maybe even start bringing this uh, this Fuji Eterna maybe up to about 150 actually. So we're actually increasing that even more. And if we give this a play right now, this is starting to tie in very nicely and it's starting to look very, very nice right here indeed. And that actually could be could be it in terms of our in terms of our color correction process. Overall that's starting to look really nice. I might even just go to my correction and bring the uh, and bring the highlights down a little bit more on this image right here. Maybe even, maybe even all the way, right? Maybe even all the way. Bringing that down, bringing those down as well. Bringing those down here. So we're just creating kind of like a more neutral image. And here at the end as well. Yeah, we could definitely do that as well. Okay, so now we actually, um, if we actually just go ahead and give this a play. It's looking like a nice, little bit more cinematic sequence, especially these closer up shots of me right here. Overall stuff is getting a little bit plainer, but the one key thing that really ties all the cinematic sequences in really well or kind of just another key thing is the crop factor those black bars, right? So you could do the black bars two ways You could fake them by just kind of throwing in a black bar kind of overlay or you could simply just go to effects Just go ahead and actually go to browse. Or, well, what am I on effects? So why am I here? What's going on? Effects, yeah, there you go. And just go ahead and type crop, um, boom. Go ahead and drag that crop over. Put it on your adjustment layer so it affects everything below. And just put top on 10, boom. And then just do the same to bottom, put that on 10. And then actually, if we give this a play, this has created those black bars. However, for a shot like this, where my legs are now under that and cropped out, I just want you to actually kind of adjust all of the clips now, right? So you see, I'm just gonna drag up that, um, I'm not sure which dimension that is, but um, I'm basically adjusting the height um, or the position in terms of the X axis, maybe? I'm not too sure about the axis, but you see, I'm just gonna drag this right, this right position um, parameter and actually just adjust it so it starts at the black bar. So we kind of fit me into this as best we can. This one here looks relatively all right. My face stays there, but again, with this one, we wanna just bring this up and make sure it rests about right there. Go ahead and keep giving this a play. Boom, and then we're gonna to look to the side, we're gonna to look to the other side. Overall, this is starting to look extremely, extremely nice right now. Um, and overall, the last thing to really piece this together is if you guys again go down below to the description, you can download this cinematic soundtrack and I just want you to drag that in to the audio layer right there. Zoom in and just go ahead and cut that right where it begins. Drag that to the beginning, and you could actually even 
go over to my editing tab again, just go over to effects and actually just type cross and just drag that cross dissolve onto the beginning and onto the end. And now if we chop that at the end and actually just go ahead and press O to put an out point at the end, go ahead and press save on that and actually just go sequence render into out. We're gonna have a look what this is looking like. Overall, I'm sure it's looking very, very dope. And in this short period of time right now, we have succeeded in creating a cinematic look, a cinematic sequence, and we've massively improved this basic sequence. As you can see right here, I can hear it coming through my headphones right now. This is looking absolutely great. We've added a nice cinematic track. We've added a great color grade, and then an individual color correction to all these layers. This last, this last clip right here, this is looking pretty plain. We could maybe turn up the highlights a little bit, turn the contrast up quite a bit. Um, put that there. Maybe, uh, maybe turn that up a little bit, just a little bit towards the orange. And in fact, all of these, thinking about it, could go a little bit towards the orange temperature. So that's the final adjustment I'm gonna do is just bring them all a little bit towards the orange temperature to about 23, something like that. Yeah, about, about 22, 23. We don't wanna make it too, too kind of RNG, but boom, there we go. That's the final adjustment I think I'm gonna do. Now I'm just gonna render into out one quick time again, and we're gonna have a look at what that's looking like. And then I'm gonna quickly replay the basic sequence without any of this, and we'll kind of put them you know, next to each other and have a look what we've uh, really improved. But boom, right here, it's looking extremely nice. It might be a little bit too much turned to the uh, turned to the orange, but I think it's looking pretty nice. It's looking pretty cinematic, looking pretty autumn-y. And overall, we have just achieved creating the cinematic look right there, guys. Hold on, let me just go ahead and drag in this uh, plain clip, and we'll just have that at the end right there. Um, boom, let's go sequence render into out. Just, just, just get those rendered into out real quick. And we're about to have a look what this is actually looking like. So boom, oh, boom. This is looking very cool. I'm very, I'm very happy with this. If you guys have followed through with me right now, you have this exact product on screen right now as well that we've just amplified this very basic sequence, which is about to play. Overall, it's looking nice. I did, do think I might've taken it a little bit too far on the, uh, the, orange, the orange temperature, but overall, this is what we've actually amplified right here. This is an unintriguing sequence. It's not very inviting. It does not look cinematic at all. It looks like, you know, straight off the of iPhone type recording, you know what I mean, type shit like that. And then over here, if we give this a play, this is looking straight out of a movie. You're thinking I'm going, you know what I mean, to find the, the Lord of the Rings or, or something like that. Overall, it looks very, very dope. And we've tied all this in and it's gonna be so much more intriguing for the viewer to kind of be actually engaged and, uh, and watching a scene like this or a sequence like this opposed to a very boring flat sequence like this, which does not look intriguing, does not look inviting. You pretty much know what this is. It's just a random dude walking across a field. Whereas this, who knows where this guy's going, you know what I mean? He's clearly going on some sort of adventure and uh, it's setting the mood so much better than that, um, you know, that original clip. But overall, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you've enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. If you followed through with me right here, you will have this identical video. So congrats if you downloaded this stuff and followed through 100% with me. But without further ado, guys, thanks for watching and goodbye.